Hi there. Uh, if this is your first time here, welcome. Uh, you might want to subscribe so you don't miss out on the future videos. So today I want to talk about why LSD creates hippies. So LSD is a drug, a chemical, that was discovered about 100 years ago and was initially used in psychiatric research and medicine uh, and was incredibly promising. Uh, then it escaped the lab in the 60s and was important in triggering a huge cultural revolution. And if you stop and think about it, that's quite weird, right? Like, I can't think of other chemicals outside of the realm of psychedelics that have this effect on people, you know? You don't drink a beer and then decide you want to change the world. Well, <laughs> not in any positive sense. Um, but with LSD, it quite reliably produces people who become more spiritually engaged, you might say. Um, you know, the, the ecological movement came out of the 60s in large part as well. So a lot of stuff happens where people change who they are and how they relate to the rest of the world when they take these, these kinds of drugs. Now, what I want to argue here is that this happens because LSD and other psychedelics, they have this effect on the brain of taking down our attachment to our models of the world. So in previous, in previous videos, I've spoken about how the brain builds up this picture of reality, all these concepts and objects that we think are foundationally real. And most of us live our lives that way. But then maybe we start meditating and we start relaxing those concepts, or we take a chemical like LSD, which has the same effect of quite dramatically reducing how active those concepts are in the brain, that kind of conceptualizing machinery, those circuits. And the reason it changes people, often permanently, is because what happens when you re relax these concepts is you see the reality underneath. Because your concepts are not reality, and most of us don't realize that, if you take them away and you see what's beneath, it has a very profound effect on you. You've seen it. You've seen the way it really is. It's not, you know, it's reasonable to think you take a drug, a hallucinogen, and you hallucinate stuff and you have crazy ideas and why would you believe anything, any insights you have on these drugs? But we understand now the neuroscience of how concepts and perception is built up in the brain. And so if you have the correct metaphysical picture of reality, in which you can understand reality as a single system, and that your concepts come later and are added on top of that, and that foundationally there's a single system that you're part of, and that in that space there's no suffering, there's only well-being, and once you've experienced that, you kind of want more of that, you know, it seems like a pretty sensible way to be, um, especially since it tends to, the desire for well-being comes through you and makes you want to put it into the rest of the system because you realize it's all an interconnected system. 